This is still the first layer. These ones back here are two layers. This is still one layer. Uh, I wanted to show this. This is the 3DLS. It's got the ender bed on it now. a little bit larger. I just reprinted the bed carriage because I had a little bit of a conflict with the, uh, with the arms here. But no big deal. I'll just move them in a little. But this is running with the TMC drivers now. It's about as quiet as it gets. Um, because of the motors having to turn four times faster than they do with belts, the uh, stealth chop can't run. It just can't do it. That stealth chop will not go fast anyways. So in the firmware, I've actually disabled stealth chop on the X and Y. Because uh, it, just, it just doesn't work. It doesn't matter. Um, I could set the... Uh, crossover frequency to something really low, like three millimeters per second, but it's, it's just not worth having. It does cause a lot of skip steps. It will not skip steps, however, with it deactivated, so we're just going to leave it deactivated, because who needs it? Uh, it's printing the last of its own parts. Everything that is not currently yellow or... This green color is coming off, so this is getting replaced. It's actually printing a new pie case there. Uh, I got to replace the extruder mount. These are being printed right now in the bar under them. Um, I'm getting rid of the last of the AM8 parts because this used to be an AM8, but it's not anymore. So they're coming off and putting those wacky corner brackets and stuff. All that stuff's been reprinted. Uh, here's my corner brackets over here. Printed on a 3D LS. It's just been ripped straight off the bed. Um, focus. See how round the holes are. It does a really good job with that. Uh, I got to install the bed chain. A couple other things still. But we're getting there. We've got the bin of parts that we put on. There's the new bed. Uh, this is the back. So, that's the new bed carriage. I ordered new bearings. The bearings, the screws were actually breaking off in those bearing box. I just ordered new ones. Locked with fan, by the way. Uh, this is the improved X axis part. I might reprint that because it's got that grubby crap on it, whatever. Uh, this is the new and improved one. It's got the new mount for the end stop, the huge reinforcement in here. It's a very stout part. To the other end, it's still pretty much the same. However, you see these two little holes here now. There's caps that go on the ends here to hold the rods in. And, uh, it's kind of hard cap. Ah, it's down in there. There's a cap. So that goes on the end and keeps the rod in. That's it. Uh, got a new chain mount. New chain pieces for both the uh, x-axis chain and the narrow links for the y-axis chain. You see the size difference here. Those are both narrow links. <laughs> There's a narrow link and a wide link. So this is an x-link, this is a y-link. Um, chain extension. Some of those parts aren't even going to get used. But, yeah. We're getting there. Tomorrow, some new bolts arrive, and I can start putting the rest of this junk together. Uh, once it's fully assembled, I am going to show off a little bit, and I have a hook downstairs where my punching bag used to hang, and I'm going to uh, put a hook right here and suspend the printer from that one hook just right there. It'll be sitting in a funky angle and swinging around as it prints. Um, and I'll print a bunch of Benchy like that. See what comes out because uh, being lead screw drive, there's no, there's no lash. There's no bounce or nothing. Um, yeah, it'd be fine. Oh yeah, I also, it does not have dryland bearings on the uh, Y axis right now. That's why it's so dang loud uh, because I'd, had to use some alternate bearing blocks once the other ones just fell apart. But yeah, I'll fix that tomorrow. More videos to come, and then it'll go live. No more work in progress on Thingiverse. Cool.